I feel like I should have a tattoo. Because it immediately just makes me feel like I should have a tattoo somewhere. And I don't. Hello, wig junkies. It's me, Urban Eve. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of the Outre Soft and Natural Wig Nisha 203. Yes, the only other Wig Nisha unit that I was interested in. I finally got my hands on it. Um, I got her in Black Cherry. I still want to get her in one other color, I think, and the unit that I'm wearing now, which is the Wig Nisha 201. I still want to get this in the Dark Root Honey Brown, I believe. Um, I also want to mention that this review of the Nisha 203 is not a first impression review. I have taken it out of the bag and tried it on, but I have not cut off the lace yet. So this is the Wig Nisha Soft and Natural 203 unit. Uh, this is the DRFF Black Cherry color. I can tell you right off the bat, because I've tried the wig on already, that um, the cap is very tight. And I tried it without my wig grip on, which I'm wearing right now. So I'm a little scared. <laughs> this is her. As always, the texture is incredibly soft and smooth to run my fingers through. The red color is concentrated particularly in the front on this unit where it has these face framing layers right here on each side. That's a first for me. I've never had a unit that just had like color in the front, which, you know, I'm not hating. Um, it's very long. It's probably gonna come down below my chest area. So here she is. The parting space is pretty much the same on all these units, I think. They're about four and a half inches deep. Really nicely done, very natural looking. Um, I believe this one has a little bit of pre-plucked hairline as well. A little bit. It's not just a really round hairline, but I think I'll see that more when I put it on. But I do like the parting space and what the hairline looks like. It's got the combs on each side, one comb in the back, adjustable straps, which I have on nothing because this cap is really tight. Um, so now I will just go off camera, put this on and come back. Okay, so I just put it on with my wig grip, which I hadn't put it on with my wig grip before. And strangely enough, it's not feeling as tight as the first time that I put it on. I'm not really sure why that is yet, but let's wait a minute because sometimes it takes a while for the pressure to set in. Um, not that I want it to set in, but you can still tell that this is a much smaller cap, at least on me, than the Wig Nisha 201 because it doesn't really, it doesn't really come like right. Um, actually, let me shut up, I'm lying. I mean, it does come ear to ear, but the other one is further back. The 201, it just rests right here on me where the air, the air lace, the lace on the ear is. Um, yeah, this is, it, it's, it's, it's definitely smaller. It's definitely a smaller cap and I am feeling the snugness now. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say at this point yet that it hurts, but I feel like I have to be honest that there's the potential for that to happen if you are prone to headaches. My hair is very, very short, like I said. I am wearing only a wig grip and I like most of my units to be a little looser than this and um, it is quite, yeah, it's, it's, I'm feeling it now. So it's, it's as sometimes it takes a while for you to feel the tightness of the unit. And um, yeah, this one's tight. It is not, uh, not big head friendly, I can't say. But I do really love this hairline. And I actually, cause this is my wig grip right here. I wanna take this off and put it on 
Um, so this is it with no wig cap and no wig grip. Still pretty snug. Oh Lord, it's tight. Um, but this hairline is, is pretty amazing. That is a really, really good hairline. I would love it if they came out with a, like a, a free parting um, unit in this line because it's so realistic looking already. A free parting uh, unit in this line would just be incredible. Like I, I almost feel like I can part it through here, which of course I can't because it's, it's just a lace part wig. So it's only in the middle, but this hairline is so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go off camera, cut the lace off and come back. All right, I'm back. And there's a bit of shedding here from the lace that I've cut off. Um, one thing that I'm noticing right away that I have to point out that is incredible is that this is the lace part and this looks just like my scalp. Like I don't feel like I need to add any powder to this at all. Um, the lace right here, like looking at it on camera, now I'm sure like right here you can see where the edge of the lace is, but when I pull it close to my skin, it actually, it seems to mimic my skin color really well, which I do love the texture of it. Um, I feel like it's, it's very similar. It's exactly the same as the texture on the 201. Um, I do like that this is not as super thick as 201 is. It is, it still has its thickness and its density to it, but in comparison, it's a, it's a, it's a lesser density. This could of course get bigger the more you brush it or the, the longer you wear it. But in general, it's not like big hair. Like the Wignisha 201, it's heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, it has heat resistant fiber. It's pre-plucked Swiss lace. And I, th I feel like this is an even better pre-plucking um, job than the 201. I mean, the 201 is pretty good. They're very similar, but this one, I feel like, like I said, this lace just kind of disappears on my skin. I don't feel like I have to, um, cut more or add any powder. And I will admit with the 201, I have cut more of the lace in the part, uh, since I've had it just to have the lace disappear. Whereas like this, I don't know, either I did a better job cutting the lace off or like the lace is just, it, it just matches my skin so well. Like I just feel like I don't have to do much of anything but put this on my head. They're still, they both are really, really lovely textures that don't tangle easily at all. But let me be honest, the back of it is going to get tangly quick. Uh, because it is thick. It is a thick density. But if you keep kind of like, you know, just combing through it when you wear it like in the morning and just bring a brush with you, it's not like you need to brush through it all day, but just to like refresh it and to like keep it neat as possible and to make it last as long as possible, it's good to just, you know, brush through it or comb through it. And it actually refreshes really quickly. Like you're not having a tough time combing and brushing through it when you do do it. So the unit has these shorter layers in the front to frame the face and then it goes all the way down, I'll say right just below my nipple. So like 22 inches possibly. 
I don't even remember where I got this from. I think I, I got it from Wig Types, yeah. Um, I will put the price uh, that I paid for it in the description box below as usual. Um, it came to about $40, you know, it, it retails for about $31. So again, I think that it's pretty affordable and that the job that they've done on this unit that Altre has done is pretty amazing with regard to how natural this, you know, blown out yakky texture is. So basically, would I recommend this week? Yes, particularly if you have a average to small sized head. It is not a big head friendly unit. So you just want to be prepared for something that it's it's snug. It's not super tight, but it's snug, at least for me. I do like the fact that it lays very, very flat. There's no humpiness, there's no poofiness. And while this one is thick, the density is still like, uh, it's not as thick up in, in here. It's kind of like more thick down here. So, but that's more manageable. So these are the things that I like about the fact that this is a slightly tighter wig. However, if you have long hair and you have braids, it might be a little, a little tighter if you have more underneath this unit than I do. So my final thoughts on this unit are that uh, the pros for me are this lace that just melts into my skin, this really natural um, hair line and the parting space, which I just feel like I don't need to add any powder to. Uh, the texture again, as is in the Nisha 201, very soft, very non-tangly and a buttery feeling. Love running my fingers through it. Do I love this color? No. Do I hate it? No. I mean, I like the color. I think the color's fine, but I think if I had a choice, I would rather have the red be more throughout the entire wig. Yeah. I would love for it to have been just all throughout and for it to be like uh, like the other units, like really just dark root and color. Because I think that the wonderful thing that Outre did with this Wignesha line is the coloring. The coloring is really, really beautiful on these and very natural looking. And I think that I would have preferred for the entire wig to have just been this cherry color. Yeah. So that's basically it for my review of this uh, soft and natural Wignesha. 203 in the color DRFF Black Cherry. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to like by clicking on the thumbs up button if you like this video. And as always, if you want to see more content like this from me, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release a video on my channel. Um, hope you're enjoying the holidays. I look forward to seeing you all in 2020. Uh, my best wishes for a magical new year to all of you, and I will see you very soon.